there is um you know a sojourn of course on earth now this man uh, the entertainment industry has been thrown into money following his loss he was born on the 5th of may 1974 and he clocked 49 years old in 2023 which actually makes it very sad because his last post on his official instagram page was on the 5th of may 19 um 5th of may celebrating his 49th um year birthday and let me even tell you what this guy wrote um the message that he wrote to himself to wish himself a happy um so wish wish himself excuse me a happy birthday mafia falabi says dear god on this day which is my birthday i ask for your blessings and grace may i have your strength and courage to continue to serve you faithfully almighty god I come to you on this day and ask for your favor. May you grant me wisdom and knowledge to do your will and to live a righteous life. Happiest birthday to me. That's the last thing that Mofia Palabi posted on his official Instagram page that now um, is now filled with, you know, a lot of persons say RIP and expressing the shock at a sudden passing. Now, the next thing to know about this man is that he was born in Oshun State and he actually hails from Oshugbo in Oshun State, Oroki Asala. I'm not sure I pronounce it well. Please, in the comment section, you can let us know if I pronounced it wrongly. Uh, Mofia Falabi has a diploma in theatre, arts, and film production from the Ocean State Polytechnic in Ivory, Ocean State. He graduated back in 2001 and you know he's been acting even. He's been acting from a very young age. I made it that acting in 2001. He's been in the industry for over 25 years or so. And his first stint in professional acting began under the guidance of veteran actor Fasasi Olabankewin. So most times death is a message to every living soul. Death is a message to every one of us. Oro shiti ni kuman sabaje. Oro shiti ni kuman sabaje because I know that Moshiri, Mofia Folabi, Lord of Malaika, Tashi Kira Tashi Somora. Oro shiti la sani. Fun oto Obama. Fun oto si fegbo to si feri lo. Mo fi te pari ise ti enu ni. Iwo to si nbe yi, nbo lo ba se ti ede. Ati pe ta ba wa wo gbogbo ise to se na, se to ba de to ka e mo lasiko yi. So ori bi jasi. All of your time. Kini un to fi nse. Ogo t'Ọlọrun fun eni. O kiki t'Ọlọrun fun eni. Ola to fun eni gbogbo nkan to fun eyin kini wo fin se ipo to fun e ki lo fin se oro shitin ni o ko shi eti oni kaluku itori akoko obe bo se logo to se bo se logo to na lo ngbero ki gbogbo ki gbogbo eni to fe logo bi ti e se be na lo se ngbero kon ni abi woni kan lo ko wo pe ki woni kan wa ni po na ko si mo lo lo ojo ti ku ba de gbogbo yi to nle ki woni kan ni ka won to ku ma ni un yo gba lowo re chicken ni ko si o si ni mu nkan kan lo 
你。我们杀死！干嘛别人？你太坏了！我从没见过你。Stop！ 我们不叫死的，你这边叫叫死。If I die here, now you are. 我把我把这个手机拿过来，我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我把这个我Even Mafia Falabi himself didn't see this coming, and it's quite sad. And in the Nollywood industry, particularly,、um, this weekend has been referred to as a Black Weekend because just in the space of Friday to Sunday, we have lost four amazing persons in the Yoruba movie industry and the Nollywood industry, basically at large. Now, guys,、um, a lot of us are interested in finding who Mafia Falabi is. While he was alive, he was a popular meme figure. You know, we have short clips of him.、Um, you know, except from his movies and all that on the internet. But who exactly is Mafia Falabi, the 39-year-old man who lost his life after suffering supl- complications from sleeping、um, in his bathroom? The house that he died in was gifted by M.C. Luomo. He was in the bathroom. He slept. They ran around to you know take him to the hospital. By the time they got to the hospital, he was declared dead. That's what happened. Basically, he wasn't sick. Nothing was wrong with him. I want to even assume that he was you know going out for you know having his bed ready to step out or something. And news broke that he's dead. Now his body has been moved. Um, according to reports, agreement has been reached by his child, um, his son, and Nollywood stakeholders and his family members, and they've decided that they want to bury his body. You know, Shugbu where he actually hails from. So they've moved him from Lagos. Um, his body has been moved to Shugbu. So that it can be laid to eternal rest, and of course we pray that God、um, grant him rest. So let's get to who Mafia Falabi is.、Um, while he was here with us, what did he do with his life? Where is he from? I just mentioned that he has a son. Is he just a child he has? Who was he married to while he was alive? Basically, let's talk everything、um, Mafia Falabi. So yes, guys, welcome to this channel. Please give this video a thumbs up to show that you like it and that you're enjoying it so far. Share with people around you, cause a lot of persons are asking what is happening to Mafia Falabi. What has happened to Mafia Falabi? Was Mafia Falabi sick? What religion、um, did Mafia Falabi practice? And all of those things. You have answers to all of that in this video. So share with one or two, three persons. If you're yet to subscribe, also, please click on the subscribe icon. To subscribe to this channel, so you don't miss updates when we have them for your viewing pleasure, and to not miss updates, you need to be to you know click on the notification bell, and that is what is going to let the algorithm know that you're ready and willing to get notified when we have interesting videos for your viewing pleasure. Thank you so much, guys, for doing that, and、um, let's get right into the video of who Muffy Afolabi is. Um, you know, is sojourn, of course. On Earth, now this man,、uh, the entertainment industry, has been thrown into money following his loss. He was born on the fifth of May, nineteen seventy-four, and he clocked forty-nine years old in twenty twenty-three, which actually makes it very sad because his last post on his official Instagram page was on the fifth of May, nineteen fifth、um, of May, celebrating his forty-ninth、um, year birthday. And let me even tell you what this guy wrote. Um, the message that he wrote to himself. To wish himself a happy, um, to wish wish himself, excuse me, a happy birthday. Mafia Falabi says, "Dear God, on this day, which is my birthday, I ask for your blessings and grace. May I have your strength and courage to continue to serve you faithfully, Almighty God. I come to you on this day and ask for your favor. May you grant me wisdom and knowledge to do your will and to live a righteous life." 
happiest birthday to me that's the last thing that mofia palabi posted on his official instagram page that now um is now filled with you know a lot of person say r.i.p and expressing the shock at a sudden passing now the next thing to know about this man is that he was born in Oshun state and he actually hails from Oshubo in Oshun state Orokia Sala. i'm not sure i pronounce it well please in the comment section you can let us know if i pronounce it wrongly uh, mofia falabi has a diploma in theater arts and film production from the Oshun state polytechnic in Ibre, Oshun state he graduated back in 2001 and you know he's been acting even he's been acting from a very young age I made mean, it that acting in 2001. He's been in the industry for over 25 years or so. And his first things in professional acting began under the guidance of veteran actor Fasasi Olabankewin, who is popularly referred to as Daguru, and that was in the year 1998. He shot to fame when he f- um, featured in the movie Omorapala. And until his death, um mafia falabi was a well pro- loved producer with multiple movies to his credit in fact somebody even posted on instagram that oh mafia already promised her that oh he has a village he uses to shoot you know rural movies he has this person that person is going to link her with i think she's trying to also produce her own movie and mafia had promised to you know um link her with people that would help her um, make the project a reality and she's even mourning and saying where is all of the promises now is going to fulfill them for her you know a lot of persons are really really saddened by his death but um let's keep talking uh mafia falabi he is married he's a father of three boys um of three children excuse me two boys and one girl he, the children are falabi olamaliko afolabi fethia moyosore and ukikiola afolabi sadly these three children do now not now as at when i'm speaking no longer have a father um is a muslim um is a muslim by religion so he's going to be buried according to islamic christ his body has been moved like i mentioned and there are still so many other things to know about mafia falabi but these are like one of um, some of the very um pertinent questions that um nigerians are asking um and what do you want to know about um Murphy Afolabi uh, and yeah he, he featured he has featured in uh, movies such as um Oloki Kyoru, The Midnight Sensation, Basira Badia, Wasila Coded, Olukoti among others. Yeah. So yeah, that's it concerning this man. Um it's just really sad, but yeah, that's where we are currently about um this man ah it's actually really sad really really sad to to mention this he's also the ceo of fetons film um production he owns his own production company of course you can't expect that somebody who's been in the industry for that long will not have his own company and uh, yes but stakeholders in nollywood are quite involved people are talking about this and how to just basically make his transition and i mean he already transitioned there's nothing we want to do or can do about it it's transitioned already but we just hope that god will continue to rest his soul give him for um give his family and his loved ones the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss yes guys that's it in this video thank you so much guys for watching i'm going to see you in the next one until then take care of yourselves and bye